This is a walkthrough and explanation of the Axon Sports sample version of the CCAT. The sample uses the same four tasks as the actual test, but does not produce test results. The three minute sample is free, so athletes can familiarize themselves with the four tasks to promote understanding and reduce anxiety. This ensures the best effort baseline. The Axon Sports CCAT, short for Computerized Cognitive Assessment Tool, is designed to measure changes in cognitive function. Each of the tasks measures speed and accuracy, which are considered to be useful in evaluating certain cognitive abilities. During the test, please make sure there are no distractions like food or drink, cell phones, or iPods playing music. Click Enter when you're ready to continue. Practicing how to respond makes it easier to do the tasks. Pressing the D key to respond No. Press the K key to respond Yes. Click on the Enter button when you're ready to begin the sample. Each task in the CCAT requires an answer to a basic question. The question of the first task is had the car turned over? This task tests the ability to rapidly process information by measuring simple reaction time. The goal is to answer as quickly as possible by pressing the K key after the car turns over. The D key for responding no is not needed for this task. Responding quickly in this or any of the other tasks is important because time will run out. If time runs out, an error sound occurs and the card flips to the left. Pressing the K key before the card flips over is considered an anticipation, and a different error sound is heard to indicate that a response happened too soon. This does not end the trial. A correct response can still be made as soon as the card does flip over. The second task's question is, is the card red? This task looks at visual attention by measuring choice reaction time. This means your attention has to be on the color of the card in order to respond quickly. Quickly pressing the K key answers yes, the face up card is red. Quickly pressing the D key answers no, it is not red. Again, pressing the response key before the card flips over makes an error or anticipation sound that indicates a response happened too soon. A correct response can be made as soon as the card flips over. If an incorrect response is made, the card flips to the left. Importantly to note, in order to determine if a best effort is being made, the reaction times for the first two tasks are compared. The third task's question is, have you seen this card before? The idea is to remember which cards have been seen previously in this specific task. This task tests the ability to learn by measuring visual episodic memory. The response to the first card will always be D or no, because there are not any previous cards to compare. This task requires using both response keys. Pressing the K key answers yes, the exact card has appeared before. Pressing the D key answers no, we have not yet seen this card. Error sounds will occur if a response happens too soon as an anticipation or if the response is incorrect. If an incorrect response is made, the card flips to the left. This task is the longest and hardest of the four tasks. It is important to focus and try hard to make your best effort. The learning task is also the first exposure to the cards that are not jokers. The previous tasks use only the joker cards in order to prevent prior exposure with the number and face cards, influencing performance on the learning and working memory tasks. The fourth task and final question is, is the previous card the same? This task tests working memory. As in the third task, the response to the first card will be no or D because there is not a previous card to compare. Again, this task requires both response keys. Quickly pressing the K key answers yes, the card is exactly the same as the previous card. Quickly pressing the D key answers no, it is not the same as the previous card. The computer sounds occur if a response happens too soon or for anticipation or if the response is incorrect. The card will also flip to the left if the response is incorrect. The four individual tasks of the Axon Sports CCAT serve to assess cognitive change. They are brief yet functional. The measures of speed and accuracy are sensitive to changes, especially those associated with concussion. Speed assesses subtle acute changes and accuracy assesses chronic changes in cognitive functioning associated with concussion. This is the end of the Axon Sports sample version of the CCAT. Please contact our customer service at 877-399-2966 with any questions.